Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Before you get that, get Jeremiah 11 and 6. Bring it out. The officers bring it out. We came out. I'm looking in Durham. They got boarded up the window. Watch. Protesting, right? Why are we mad? Did anybody remember why we mad? What's her name? Can y'all say her name? What we mad for? Do we forget? See? We forgot already. We forgot already. Breonna Taylor. Did you who said it? My sister, Breonna Taylor, right? Murdered. In her own bedroom, no not warrant, right? What happened to the police that did it? Nothing. Right. The only one that got indicted was indicted for missing Breonna Taylor. The only reason he's in trouble because he missed and he right. had an apartment behind him. Bring it out. He got in trouble for that. If he just shot her, he would have been fine. Right. That's why we got to come out here. There are solutions to these problems, but you got to see that. That's we right. are in a problem right now. That's right. Our lives mean nothing to the people that rule this country. That's right. I'm going to show you something. Give me Jeremiah 11 and 6. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 11, verse 6. Then the Lord said unto me, Proclaim all these words in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem. And where? In the streets of Jerusalem. Where? In the streets of Jerusalem. We ain't in Jerusalem. We're in the land of our captivity, but we out here in these streets right. proclaiming the words of God. Watch this, come on. Saying, Hear ye the words of this covenant. And do them. The covenant of God belongs to the blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. Yes, right. God wants you to hear these words and do them. Right. There's consequences for not listening. Consequences is a no, not warrant. You getting shot up in your house. Right. That's right. Consequences is George Floyd getting a knee pressed down his neck, cutting off his circulation, giving a heart attack. These are the consequences that came from the Most High God. Right. Right. Verse seven. For I earnestly protested unto your fathers. Hold on, what did he do? I earnestly protested unto your fathers. So yeah, you are supposed to protest. We ain't doing a protesting. We protesting to y'all. Right. Protesting ain't walking with the so-called white. My sister, come here for a second, my sister, with the mask. Sis, I want to talk to you real quick. Let me talk to you real quick. Protesting ain't marching with the so-called white man that helped murder you. That's right. Then he come, and there's an article said he came up in here and he started tearing stuff up. That's right. right. They said he co-opted the movement. Y'all see that? And he tore up these buildings, and he blamed it on y'all. But here's how you're supposed to protest. Read it again. For I earnestly protested unto your father. So we're going to protest to y'all. Right. Just like our, our prophets in the past protested to your fathers. Your fathers in the Bible were the black men. That's right. Were the right, Israelites. Right. So the prophets went to them to try to get them to change their ways. He called it protest. I'm trying to convince you to change your ways. Right. That's what we're doing now. Read. That I brought them up out of the land of Egypt. So it's like we in, give me, hold that, give me uh, Revelations 11 and 7. Now you hear about Egypt. That's some old stuff, right? But slavery, that's nothing but slavery. And slavery still go on today. That's why Breonna Taylor get killed like she an animal, because she a slave. Right. That's why you could get murdered right now. My That's sister. Right. What's your name, my sister? Huh? Kim. 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 God forbid, police can roll up right now and blow us all away. That's right. Say we talking too loud and get away with it. Why? Because we not free. Right. We slaves. That's right. We That's slaves right. to this day. I'm going to show you in the Bible and tell you, you in a spiritual slavery. Come on. The book of Revelations, chapter 11 and verse 7. And when they shall have finished their testimony, the beast that ascended out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them. That's some hard things to understand. That's talking about the so-called white men making war on the Israelites. That's right. You read? And shall overcome them and kill them. That's what's going on today. The saints of God. Y'all don't know. Y'all the holy people of God. That's right. You blacks, you Hispanics, Native Americans are God's chosen people. That's right. We are the royal lineage of the earth. Right. And we're getting slain by the beast. The beast, the people that run this country. That's Come on. right. Read. Verse 8. Come on. And their dead bodies. And the prophets, the priests, the saints, the princesses like my sister Kim. You a princess. That's right. Read it again. And their dead bodies. What? Whose bodies? And their dead bodies. And our dead bodies. Shall lie in the streets of the great city. Where are we found? In the of the great city. We lie 
being dead in the streets of the great city. That's, that's America. Right. That's yeah. right. That's talking about today. Revelation is the book of prophecy. He said, I see a great city above all cities on earth. And all the prophets and the saints and the Israelites are lying dead. Spiritually, you see bodies. You see Breonna Taylor. see George Floyd. Bring it out. see Amaya yeah. Arbery. You see who else? There's so many names. There's so many names. And you see, every, that's the ones you know. That's the ones on TV. Come on. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom. They said, in the spirit, this place is called Sodom. My sister Kim, what did Sodom have going on back in the Bible? They said that the great city we be lying dead in spiritually be called Sodom. So what did Sodom have going on that they were known for? Everybody know about it. You know Sodom and Gomorrah? What was they doing? They was gay. They was gay. Yeah, I got it right. You got it. They was gay. So what are they saying about this place today? Read it again. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. They said there could be a great city in the last days. Which is spiritually. They said not physically. But it's spiritually called called Sodom. God sees that place as Sodom. A whole bunch of gay stuff going on. In all 50 states, it's legal for gay marriage. That's right. That's right. right now. You got homosexuality pushed in its AIDS, HIV everywhere. It's, and you watch a good movie. Watch you watch uh what's the movie like Power? Or you watch um anything. Empire. Huh? Empire. 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 And then what do they slide in there? The homosexual character. Right. Right. You got to come with it. Any hot movie, a new show come out. Oh, I like that show. What's that? Um Cartoons, they slide the homosexuality in there. Because that's his Sodom. This place is Sodom. That's right. God said, this is the new Sodom. I, the white man gave it a different name. Called America. This is the new Sodom. Read. Yeah. Which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. He said in the spirit, this place called Egypt too. Go to uh, 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 Exodus 20 and 2. Why they call, it, why they call yeah. this place Egypt? Why do you think they call this place Egypt, Kim? You got the first one right. Why would they call this Egypt? How did Egypt get built? By, How did, slaves. by slaves. How did America get built? By slaves. By slaves. Right. The same slaves. Right. The Israelites built Egypt and they brought the Israelites to brainwash them and they built America. That's right. Read that. Let's prove yeah. that Egypt means slave. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. Right. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, right. out of the house of bondage. What's the name for Egypt? Out of the house of bondage. Egypt means house of bondage. That's right. America is the house of bondage. That's right. That's why we can get shot in the street. Give me Zachariah 11 and 5. We can get shot, killed right now, and our lives mean nothing because we're in a house of bondage. That's right. We're not the, the land of African America. Right. Where right. we all be free and we can eat what we want and we can just be happy right. and frolic. No, we are here getting murdered and killed. That's right. People getting tight like the police going by right now. People tight right now because police going by. They're scared. Right. If we stop too long, we all looking over our shoulders. This ain't the land of our freedoms. It's the land of our captivity. Bring it up. Right. The book of Zechariah, chapter 11, and verse 5. Right. That's how you know this place is the land of your captivity. We can prove it. It's not talking about all people. It's talking about the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. right. Watch this. The book of Zechariah, chapter 11, verse 5. Oh. Whose possessor slay them. Hold on. He said, who's what? I need to read slow. Whose possessors? Whose possessors? Meaning these people got owners. Slay them. They owners killed them. And hold themselves not guilty. Their owners kill their people that they own and say they're not guilty for doing it. Bring it out. What does that sound like, Kim? What place is that? America. That's America. That's, That's right. right. Who are the people that are possessing somebody? Who are the possessed and who is doing the possessing? Who's the owners? Right now, Trump. You say Trump. It ain't just Trump. What's his nationality? Donald Trump. The white man. The white man. That's right. Who's being owned? We are. So now that makes sense now. According to the Bible, it says, your owner's just going to kill you. And then when they're judging themselves, they say, nah, we don't find that wrong. We find that. Matter of fact, they say, I think she was doing some criminal activity somewhere. She deserved to die. She deserved to die in the middle of the night in a, in a bed clothes. She deserved it. That's what they say. Read it again. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. So we, the prophets of God sitting here, we don't read that. We say, well, I ain't going to tear up the city because of that. That's right. Because now the, the Bible says it was going to happen. Right. right. We want to put this mindset, this mindset inside our people. Bring it out. 
peace to you. That's what we're trying to teach you. Peace so you don't go tear up your own neighborhood. Let the white man come in here and help you tear it up. We're trying to show you who are the Israelites. Right. And there's a way to get out of this situation. That's it's right. an easy, easy way to get out of it. You got me? The book of Hosea, chapter 5, verse 15. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offenses. So this is what's going on. Don't you believe in God? Who believe in God out here? Got one? Just one. Who believe in God? That's right. That's right. Who believe in God? Anybody? Wow. It says, so you got the Breonna Taylor situation and many other atrocities. Where God at? Master your point blank. You ever sit there and wonder where God at? We praying. We in church. Where God at? Why Breonna Taylor get killed? I'm sure she was Christian. Where God at? Right? You know you ask that question. Read it again. The book of Hosea, chapter 5 and verse 15. We're going to show you where God went. I will go and return to my place. God said, I'm leaving. I will go and go back to my place. That's your father. Right. He said, I'm leaving. I'll go back to my place. Read. Till they acknowledge their offenses. Hold on. He going to be gone till when? Till they acknowledge their offenses. Hey, uh, my sister Kim, let me ask you a question. You, you know your father from the world? Yeah, you take a picture. You know your father from the world? You know your, your earthly father? Yeah. If he left one day and he said, I'm gone, I'm going to Connecticut. And I'll come back when you acknowledge your offenses. What is he saying? He said he's going to leave till you acknowledge your offense. What does that mean? Your earthly father. He said, I'm out of here. And I'll come back when you acknowledge your offense. What does that mean? What do you think that means? Get right. Get right. That's right. He, God said, I'm going to come back when you get right. right. Read again. She got it. Yeah. I will go and return to my place. Till they acknowledge their offenses. So God said to all you blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, I'm leaving, I'm out. Till you get your mind right. Till you repent. Till you stop acting like your oppressor. You stop celebrating wicked holidays. You stop dealing with white supremacy. This guy right here, you see this guy? This is white supremacy. This is idolatry. This is idolatry. I hope nobody, my sister's at the bus stop. My sister's at the bus stop. Y'all can hear me because this thing is loud. Y'all gonna try to chew over the microphone. I don't want to hear you. This right here, I wanted y'all to know, this white image of Jesus is idolatry. This is one of the reasons God ain't dealing with us right now because we still got this in our house. We still got this in our church. And you got it in your heart. You got it in your mind. The white image of Jesus is keeping God away from you. Because you ain't cast off these sins of idolatry. Y'all celebrating Halloween, which is the direct worship of the devil. Right. Next week, you're going to have your little kids dressed up like demons and goblins and superheroes. Bring it out. And ain't nowhere in the Bible did it say to do it. Bring it out. But the white man said, October 31st, I need all you niggas in the store getting candy. Bring it out. I need y'all getting candy. I need y'all have that candy on your doorstop. And I need you to let all them strange little kids go. Send your kids out to strange houses where they got razor blades and apples. That's right. right. Come on, bring it out. Don't go to West Sis. Don't go to West Sis. Do you know your nationality? To be honest with you. Yeah, be honest with me. Um, my father's side, I'm Trinidadian. Okay, cool. On my mother's side, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. On my mother's side, yeah. she's black. She's black. But then, we have pure Caucasians in our That's fine, that's, that's fine. Not Come here, I want to show you something. Don't go nowhere so, yet. Look right here. This is the most important I information like God brought you here. I feel like all lives matter than black lives matter. Say it again. I feel like all lives matter. Black lives matter. I would, I would, I'd love for you to deal with us for a second. I want to talk about that. And I bet by if, if you understand what the Bible says, you'll change your mind. No. Watch this I, right here. I mean, it's in my blood. I, I got you. Here's what's in your blood. <laughs> you said Trinidadian. Mm -hmm. Give me numbers 118. Right there, West Indian. Yeah. That's Trinidad, right? The Jamaica, yeah. Trinidad. That's the tribe of Benjamin, according to the Bible. That's right. Right. Watch this. We're going to prove it to you. Numbers 118. Because you know, there's no mix. So this is going to ease your mind. According to God, there's no such thing as mixing. Right. right. Watch this. The book of Numbers, chapter 1 and verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees. So you declare your pedigree, that's your bloodline. After their families, by the house of their fathers. So how would I determine my bloodline? By the house of their fathers. Not my mama? By the house of their fathers.
parents or whatever my father is. I'm to the daddy in all the way. That's you then. That's yeah, you. So I'm there is no, daddy. oh, there's white folks somewhere. Yeah. There is no, there you just nah, have relationships. Nah, I do claim Trinidadian. You get that's that's what God says you are. Yeah. He that's said right. that you are not Trinidadian, you're of the tribe of Benjamin. Right. Right. All Trinidadians, all West Indians, all Jamaicans come from Benjamin. That means son of the right. That's, that's right. who y'all come from. Okay. A mighty man, King Saul. Paul in the New Testament. He's a black man. Right, Can right. I read that to you real fast? Right. Give me Acts 21. Bring it Paul, out. Is a, he, that's a mighty man for the uh, tribe of Benjamin. You saw him walking today. He's a uh, uh, West Indian Jamaican. Let's see what he looked like. You got me? Come on. Next page. The book of Acts, chapter 21, and verse 37. Bring it out. And as Paul was to be led into the castle. What's going on, my brother? It said, Paul led into the castle. He said unto the chief captain, uh -huh. May I speak unto thee? Uh -huh. Who said, Canest thou speak Greek? Now, listen to this. He said, Paul walked in there, and then the captain said, Bro, can you speak Greek? Why? Art not thou that Egyptian? He said, he looked at Paul and said, Ain't you that Egyptian? What Egyptians look like? Bring it up. Ancient Egyptians, real Egyptians. They dark. They dark. That's they black. That's right. So he looked at Paul and said, What? Art, thou, art not thou that Egyptian? He said, Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. How are you speaking Greek to me? Which is, you know, Edomite language, white man language. How are you speaking white man language, but you look like an Egyptian? You black as hell. That's what he said. Why are you black like that and speaking that white man language? But I don't see color though. I don't you see, see color. No, I don't really. Does God see color? Oh, okay, maybe you God don't. don't. Does see God see color? color? I don't see color. You said God does? Don't. God don't. No. So does, is there color I in the Bible? He don't. Is there color in the Bible? No. Can I show you some color? Yeah, I know it's color in the Bible with the Egyptians. Yeah. And, uh, um, Abraham you know the word. You know. The Israelite. Right. Oh, no. You know that it, the but, word black is in the Bible. Right now, I don't see color. I can't. You can. Don't you say black lives matter? No, I don't. You, oh, so you say all lives matter? I say all lives okay, matter. Okay. Okay. All right. I want to show you something. Oh, I say all lives matter. Is this matter. Jesus? I just. Yeah, your name. It's, it's hard for me to explain how I feel about the situation. Yeah, do you believe in Jesus? I believe in Jesus. Is this him? Of non-denomination. Okay, that don't mean a, it, okay. that's still denomination. But is this is this Jesus? You see this guy? Is this him? If we want to pray right now, say everybody let's join hands and pray. Are we praying? All in I this? know is Jesus. Is this Jesus? And God. I, I got you. Is this Jesus? This I God. Say. Yes or no? Nobody can say. Yes, we can. No, we can't. Watch. I'm gonna show you. This ain't Jesus. Give you Revelation 1.14. We absolutely can show you in the Bible. Not of our mind. In the Bible, we show you. There's yeah. color. Watch this. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hair. So we talking about Jesus. Yeah, it's Je yeah, it's wool. We talking about Jesus. We're white like wool. What color? White like wool. That's a color. He said his hair. If you ever talk about his hair, you can't add to the word of God. If you ever talk about Jesus' hair, it's got to be white and what? White. Wool. wool. Like yeah. mine, right? Like he, like yours. Right. Come on. So you can't say anything else. That'd be blasphemy. Right? Come on. As white as snow. And it's more colors. Okay, the hair is very, very white. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So his eyes is red. Those are basic colors. Meaning he, we're going to show you why I drink. Show, show him why his eyes is red real quick. Bring it out. Bring it out. These colors, it's not, it's not always symbolism. There's a, there's a, a log, uh, logical reason why his eyes is red. Genesis 49 and 12 real quick. The book of Genesis, chapter 49 and verse 12. His eyes, are red. His eyes shall be red. Shall be what? His eyes shall be red huh? with one. What? With one. So his eyes are red. Why? Wine. Right. Jesus turned water into. So did he drink it? Yes. Why would he turn into? I'm gonna turn water into wine and pour that stuff out. Never right. drink it. Nah. He, that's what they had. They had Kool-Aid back then. They were drinking wine. They drinking water. That's right. what they had. Come on, go back. You understand? Hey. So his eyes is red because of the wine he drank. Hold on. Almost done. I'm going to let you speak. Verse 15. You got to listen to this part. And his feet. His feet. I see your ankles. Your ankles same color as your feet, right? So Jesus, you can see his feet. Read. Like unto fine bread. They say like unto, meaning they look just like what? Fine bread. That's a color. They, they ain't say that for no reason. They say look like fine brass. They ain't say metal. He would have said silver. He would have said look like metal. It look like iron. He said like what? Like unto fine brass. So he said the colors like fine brass. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. He said, let me really describe this color. He said, this color like it's burned. Like you took that brass and burned it. Right. What color is that? Go to Daniel brown. 10. Brown. Dark, dark brown, right? 
To what color Jesus? Wow. You're only allowed to tell me he's a brown man. A black man. Oh, yeah, I'm going to show you. Right. Oh, one more and I'm going to let you speak. 10. Daniel 10 and 6. Here's another. People don't know about this one. This is some secret stuff you're getting right here. There's another time Christ is described in the Bible. They tell you his color. Right. They say the word. Watch this. 10 and 6. The book of Daniel, chapter 10 and verse 6. His body also was like the barrel. So said his body, he clothed in a green garment. Barrel is a, a name for green. So his body covered in green. Read. And his face as the appearance of light. Yeah. Bad look on his face. Glowing with wisdom. Read. And his eyes as lamps of fire. Remember his eyes is red because of what? Fire. Wine. Not wine. So it looked like fire. That's how red it was. Come on. And his arms, his arms and his feet and his feet like in color. Hold on, like a what? Like in color. Come look at the word. Come sis, come look at the word. You big words. Come look at this. I show what that's at. What is it? Like in color. <laughs> to what? What did it say, sis? Let, oh, sis, you read it. Like in color to what? Like in color. Where am I? Like in color to polished brass. There you go. So what color was his arms and his feet? Brown. Brown. Damn. Color That's in the right. Bible. Color matters. That's right. Because right. you're not allowed to go. Give me Proverbs 6 and 30. That's the one I want 30 and 6. You can't add to the word of God. When you try to make Christ translucent, you're adding to the word of God. That's right. Oh, let's read that real quick. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 13 and verse 8. Now listen to this. This is, this is very important. In church, not in, I used to go to non-denominational church, which is still a denomination. It's still a denomination. Right. They don't teach Jesus color because that's divisive because that's going to mess with their money. Right. That's going to mess with the congregants and they're going to have all these questions and debates. They can't have that. So he said, in order to keep everybody peace in that in the sleep, let's just say he all colors. It don't matter. We don't know. No one ever seen him. Watch what the Bible says. Hebrews chapter thirteen and verse eight. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday. He looked the same in Daniel. He looked the same in Revelation. And today, it look the same right now. That's right. And forever, his uh, image will never change. That's right. right. Read it again. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. Read on. Be not carried about with diverse and strange doctrines. That's what right. happens. We get carried about. We talk to. That's like brainwashing. We get brainwashed with diverse and strange doctrines, teachings. We are taught that. Jesus is all colors. Right. That makes no sense. There's no man running around with Super Vitilago. He got every color bleeding onto him. Like he got washed with colors right. in the washing machine. That makes no sense, right? That's right. Why we think like, like, like I see you got the stuff in your hair. They say Jesus look like that. He all colors. That's what that means. Jesus running around with all them colors. That's retarded. These are real people that existed. Jesus Christ existed. Right. Y'all right. believe in that? My brother, see you just walked up. You believe Jesus Christ existed, right? Oh, yeah. Right. You believe, my brother right there, you believe Jesus existed, right? Was he a black man? That's from right. what you say, from what I what you read out, yes. From what I read out of the Bible, right? He's a black man. What'd you say? Oh yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. a black man. So here's a hard question. Now we dealing with Brian, the aftermath of Breonna Taylor and many, many more are gonna happen. Why does that matter? We got people that rule over us that gave us our religions. Right. Why would they lie about the color of Jesus? Bring it out. Wake them up. They want them to be white. They want them to be white. Yeah. What do you say? What's your name? Jack Klein. Why they lie about the color of Jesus? That's heavy. Say, do, say it again. That's very heavy statement. Say it again. Keep us in the same state that we were in before, so we won't get to be able to know better. Right, right. That's very good. Said so each brother said keep them in the same state as we was before. Meaning when? Before slave what? Time. Slave time. No, yeah. we couldn't read and write in slavery. Yeah, right. And so they want us to stay stupid. That's yes. right. So That's what are they going to do? Right. You're going to worship white Jesus. Not in the Bible. Because if you read the Bible, it's obvious he's not he's not white. He couldn't possibly be mistaken for white. Right. They right. count on black people not reading. They count on us watching sports. They count on us doing dope, smoking so much weed we can't get off the couch to not ever pick up a book. You understand that? Or be in prison. That's what most black men is. Two out of three. We're going to spend some time in prison. Right. So you want to keep us from the truth. Give me John 8.32. That's why we come out into the streets to teach this. Waking you up is going to put Godhood in your mind. And we stop being niggas out here in these streets. Right. Right. That's what they painted them out right You heard what the brother said? He just said, a, say that name again. He Cesare said, right. Cesare Borgia. Or Cesar Borgia. The corrupt, the corrupt Pope. That was his son. That, that brother got some knowledge. You, that's why color matters. 
You will mess around and worship Caesar Borgia, the son of Pope Alexander VI, who was having sex with his sister. Bring yeah, and he's a homosexual. He incestual, homosexual, right. murder, right. poisoning people. Up. And you be having this in your house, hanging up, worshiping it. Right. That's the dangers of idolatry. That's sin. That's, right. That's why it matters what color Jesus is, because but I'm like, hey, let's go watch Michael Jordan play. And I'll show you a fat white dude. I'm like, yeah, Michael Jordan over there. I'm like, there ain't no damn Michael Jordan. Right. It's a fat, no, 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 bro, that's Michael Jordan. Bring like, it out. He don't play basketball. He's selling cars. He, he ain't got nothing to do with Bring basketball. Right. right. You've been bamboozled. You've been fooled. Give me first Maccabees. What you got? Oh, Johnny 13. Read it. The book of Judge, chapter 8, and verse 32. Bring and you shall yeah. know the truth. God said, you shall know the truth. This ain't hate. He say, hey, I ain't telling y'all to harm white folks, none whatsoever. But what he say? And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. It's gonna set us free, right. knowing truth. Right. All these, ain't there a lot of lies? Oh, yeah. They lied on Breonna Taylor. Some of them say, oh yeah, she got criminal connections. Oh, they was selling dope in the house. Oh, she was in the bed, she wasn't in the bed, she was in the hallway. She didn't get hit, she didn't get shot. The arrest warrant was for her. Ain't that lies and stuff? Huh? She was in the shower. She was in the shower. Do you see the, the power in lies? You use those lies, all of a sudden you don't care about Breonna Taylor no more. A lot of white, a lot of white folks, a lot of our people, like Candace Owens and uh, who's somebody else? Them coon, them coon ass people. Charles Barkley. They got a whole different thing going on in their mind because they swallow lies. They right. refuse truth. They don't know how to tell truth from lies. Right. Give me Lamentation 417. Bring you know why out. they can't tell truth from lies? Because a white man is telling them what to think. Bring it out. Right. And they believe on him. Right. And again, it's not a racist thing. And when I say white man, I'm really talking about this dude right here and everybody that follows him. That Edomite, that so-called white man, is directing their thoughts. You got it? Right. Let me tell you something. Watch what I mean. The book of Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 17. As for us, and us. Now that us is y'all. What tribe you come from on that sign? I want to know what you... That's just I'm Charles Benjamin. Benjamin, all praise. What about you, my brother? I'm Benjamin. Claim that thing. Judah. Judah, all praise. That's right. What about you, my brother, with the Grizzlies hat? What's your name? Yeah, yeah. Tribe again. All praise I got. Gab, Benjamin, Judah. So that's the us being spoken to. Gab, Benjamin, and Judah, your forefathers. All the way down to y'all. Read again. As for us. As for the Israelites, the tribe of Judah, the tribe of Benjamin, the tribe of Gad. Come on. Our us as yet fail for our vain help. Let me explain what that means. Our eyes have failed for our vain help. When your eyes fail means you, you get you can't see no more. We sitting there looking so hard for our what kind of what? For vain help. Our eyes are looking for vain lies. That's what vain means. Lying help. We're looking for a lying, useless help. Read again from the top. As for us, our eyes as yet failed for our vain help. Read. In our watching. While we looking for help. We have watched for a nation. We watched for who? A nation that could not save us. Ain't that black people? We sitting there looking so hard, we about to go blind, waiting for a nation to save us. Right. Who's the nation we be looking to save us, to help us? It's supposed to be the political... The political people. Who who runs all that? Who runs politics? Who runs Democrat and Republican? I don't call them the president. I call them number 45. Number 45. Who run all that, though? What kind of people? Who's that nation? It didn't say a guy. It didn't say Satan. It said we'll watch for a nation. Read again. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. So Charles Barkley, who he looking to for answers? Candace Owen, who she looking to for answers? Who's the nation that can't save us? But we go to them for all our questions. Who's that nation? Huh? Say the name. Who is it? Somebody, 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 somebody said it. So-called white man. That is the nation. The Caucasian race is that nation that cannot save us. But we go to them. That's why we protesting. People protesting, I, they say stuff like, I'm a man. Who are you telling that to? When you say, I'm a man, black lives matter. Who are you saying that to? You're Bring saying that. You're not saying it to me. It already matters to me. I got brothers and sisters and uncles and cousins that's black. I know Who, black lives matter. Yeah, but no, 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 listen to me. When, I'm not saying you, but when the people do that, they say black lives matter. They are trying to get white folks' attention. Change your mind. Why don't y'all think black lives matter Bring too? Bring it out. That's what, that's what it is. You're pleading to the white man to make your life matter. That's right. right. But your life don't even matter to each other. All lives don't matter to each other. That's why Durham full of gang violence right. and murder. God lives don't matter to each other. It's full of abortion too. Right. If you right. can't you can't protect the little baby in the womb that ain't did nothing. You murdered him because y'all had a bad night because you met somebody in the club and bust all up in some sister and then you want to take care of that. 
You say, hey, here's three hundred dollars. Go fix that. Right. Your black li black lives don't matter to you. Bring it up. Right. The whole movement is the whole movement is garbage. The whole movement is about homosexuality. Right. So we don't support that black lives matter guy. It's all about homosexuality. Now all lives matter is also a lie. What matters to God? That's what I do. What Bring matters to God? Give me Proverbs right. three Bring and five to give me Deuteronomy seven and six. What matters and who matters to God? God made Bring everybody. You said That's Israelites, why you are 100% correct. All lives matter because we're a human being. So okay. all lives we are, we should beings. matter because at the end of the day, mm -hmm. if, if this is Hispanic man, yeah, and, uh, I'm tribe Benjamin, right. and, 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 and everybody's a different tribe, at the end of the day, we all bleed blood. So yes, I do. don't be screaming black lives matter. All lives matter that is breathing. He Watch this. say that in there though. He, he ain't say that. He ain't though. say that. Brother got a heavy he point. Watch this. Proverbs 3 and 5. He got listen to brother now. He trying to show you some love. Well, I'm gonna show you the Bible so you don't hear my word. The book of Proverbs, chapter three and verse five. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. So that's why we keep reading out the Bible over and over again. We just getting y'all listen to the word of God. Read again. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. That's what he said. He said, trust in what I said in the Bible. Don't lean on what you think. You your thoughts been corrupted. You learn all lives matter from the white man. No, I'm, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna prove it. Cause you said we all different tribes, right? He's a tribe of Issachar. But that's the way I feel. But we all one family. We the tribe. We, that tri we, are, we are all twelve tribes of Israel. Now, let me show, matter of fact, give me a second. Ezra, I don't chapter six, verse fifty four. Right. Well, let me show you something, to you, sister. Again, we don't teach violence against any race. No, I don't. We don't teach that. We don't. We don't either. No. And we do teach mm -hmm. all people came from Adam. Right. We are all humans. We all bleed blood. Now, I'm going to show you what God said. God going to, he's going to address all of that. Y'all got to listen to this. Again, most stuff ain't, ain't going to come out in church. 6 and 54. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 6 and verse 54. In the word of the Lord. And after these, Adam also. Everybody remember Adam. What color was Adam? He say black. What color was Adam? I don't see color. You don't see color? We don't read you color in the Bible. What you say? I don't see color what still. The people in the church taught me he white. For what the people in church, hold that, give me Genesis 2 and 7. <laughs> See, when the people in yeah. church saw him white, he know black. Science tell you oh, it started in Africa. But let's see, let's, let's get rid of the lies. We got to stop that lie. Give me 2 and 7. The book of Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7. What did Adam, the first man, look like? And the Lord formed man of the dust of the ground. He formed Adam of what? The dust of the ground. I'm looking down, I got plenty of dust. And I can put my hand next to it. You can barely tell my hand there. What color was Adam? Brown. He was brown. Color matters. Because they'll tell a brother in church that he's white. That's a damn lie. Right. That's a damn lie. Of the dust, read it again. That's easy stuff. Bring it out. They ain't read chapter 2. How many ain't nobody read chapter 2 of Genesis? Most people read Genesis. That's right there. Come on. Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7. Three. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. So you dig deeper, you dig. How dark does it get? You get darker, right? Right. That's what he made man of. That's what he made Adam of. Read. And breathe into his nostrils the breath of life. Kim, don't you go nowhere. I got one more scripture for you. Kim, come here. Come hither. Give one, me the second answer. What's, what's the one that they were talking about? <laughs> come here, Kim. Love everybody. I got to show you right here. Show him, show That's what him. I want her to see. Don't go nowhere till you see this. My brother, come over here with a blue mask. Come over here, bro. There's some good stuff right here, man. We ain't out here to hurt nobody. We ain't selling no dope. Come on. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 6 and verse 54. And after these, Adam also, all thy creatures. So we read already, Adam was made of the dust of the ground. He was black. So he is the Lord of all creatures on earth. I mean, he named every animal. He was ruler over all animals. Read. Of him come we all. Of Adam come everybody. Right. Right? So everybody lives matter. Everybody come from Adam. That's all I said. That's all the Bible said. Let's keep reading. Read. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. And the Israelites. That's who God chose. He said all those people come of Adam and the Israelites who God has chosen. Read. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. But what you don't know, God made the world for the Israelites' sakes. Not for everybody. Right. Read on. As for the other people. So there's a distinction. So God has the people he chose, the blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. And then you got, as for who? As for the other people. Hey, brother, we better answer your question. As for what people? As for the other people. That's what we always get caught up at. What about everybody else? The Chinese. What about the um, white man? What about the Arab man? What about the Japanese man? The Hawaiian. Read. As for the other people 
which also come of Adam. God said he come from Adam. They do. Read. Thou has said. God has said. That they are nothing. Oh. Not something. Read again. That they are nothing. You know that's in the Bible. God said they're nothing. It's more right, right. Read. But be like unto spittle. Be like what? Unto spittle. Oh, bro, let her hear this part. But be like unto spittle. He said, those people, not only are they nothing, they're like spittle. Oh, just... nothing. That's God. That's Bible. You know what they're gonna do. He said, they're nothing. They like spit. They come out your mouth. Read. And has likened the abundance of them. So he said, God said, I compare all these other people. There's a lot of them. All these people. Unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. He said, all oh, you had all those white is Arabs and Chinese people together. It's like a drop that falls out of a bucket. It's a little drop to him. That's, that's right. That's what their lives mean to him. Their lives don't matter to God. He said it's like a drop that falls out of the vessel. That's right. And now, oh Lord, behold these heathen. That's what God calls the other nation, calls them heathen. He said, now, behold these heathen, read, which have ever been reputed as nothing. God have, he said, God said, they've always been reputed as nothing. They've always had a reputation for being nothing. That's right. At no point were those people chosen. Those people have always been nothing to God. We right. have begun to be lords over us. The last days, the Bible says, the children of Israel will be under subjection. Hold on, sis. Hold on, sis. The children of Israel will be under subjection to people that are nothing. So we find ourselves the strongest, Bring it out. the best looking, Come on now. the fastest. Everything. If we want in the NBA, nobody will watch it. Right. But Dennis, we own it. But who's on top? Nothings. Right. The people that are nothing, according to God, are on top. Right. And they, we go to them for all our opinions. We go to them for help. When we want to protest, we're asking, pro please make our lives matter in your eyes, white man. Bring it out. Please stop killing our people. Please change police reform. Please stop murdering us. Please stop planting drugs on our people. Come on. And to devour us. They devour, they eat us up, they kill us. Come on, right. Read. Come on. But we the people. But we your people, God, who look like your first son. Bring it out. The black people. Like the, like the sands of the sea. Now, again, we come in different colors because of different, you know, slavery and all that good stuff. Come on. But we, the people whom thou hast called thy firstborn. God called us his firstborn. We his favorite son. Right. Out of all those children, we are the favorite. It should be obvious. We built different. That's right. We just built different. There's things we do they cannot do. Right. Right. And it's jealousy. That's why they hate us. You don't know, man, the evil twin. They always got an evil twin in movies. Jealous of the other twin. Man, he get all the stuff. Get all the attention. Do you know this in the Bible? You got more on that? Give me that. Finish that. I'm going to show you that. That's in the Bible, the evil twin syndrome. Thy only begotten and thy fervent lover are given into their hands. That's us. God's fervent lover. He loves us fervently. He loves us more than he can explain. That's right. Bring it up. But we're in the hands of them. So do you agree with what the Bible said? All lives don't matter. Bro, Go to Deuteronomy 7 and 6. In, heart, in your heart. I can't show Bring it out. prejudice. Okay, in prejudice. In my heart, yeah. I can't show violence. In I'm not telling heart, you to. I can't do any of that. So that's why I don't like to say. Jeremiah 17. You know what? I don't Nine. like to say it. Okay, don't. you say in your heart. I don't. Again, we got to warn you. God, God is a psychologist. Y'all listen to me. God is a psychologist. Oh, oh, bring it out. Bring it out. I know you're not going to say it color. I, I want you to, I'm, I'm just trying to warn you against your own self. You're against yourself right now, my sister. No, listen to this. Listen to this. No. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 9. Now you say your heart. In your heart, you can't do that. I can't. Watch what the Bible says. Bring it out. Your heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Your mind is desperately wicked. It's okay. like you, you fall off a cliff, you try to grab the edge. That's your mind I trying to cleave the weakness. That's your mind trying to save white people. That's what we do because it's been installed. It's post, listen to me, it's post-traumatic slave syndrome. Bring it out. We're yeah, trying to out. save the people that's got us in slavery. Right. They don't need salvation. We need to be saved from them. That's right. Y'all know that's what salvation actually means? Bring it out. Do y'all know that's what look. salvation Give me just Luke 1 and 71. Salvation actually means getting the hell out of here away from people killing us. Right. That's right. Do y'all know that? Let's read in the Bible. New Testament. Luke 1 71, please. The book of Luke, chapter 1 and verse 71. That we should be saved. God said that you all Israelites shall be yeah. saved from our enemies. It ain't say Satan. It said who? From our enemies. We must be saved from our enemies, read. And from the hand of all that 
to hate us. We got to be safe from the hand when possession of the people that hate us. Right. People that hate us are ruling over us and killing us. We need to be saved from them. That's right. right. We the people that ourselves too. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. But does that take away from the fact that the white man has been killing us for 400 years? Right. That the white man has brainwashed us to when we hate each other. I hate somebody light skin. The light skin hates me. The old person hates. That's Willie Lynch. Willie Lynch. I got a question. What's my question, my sister? What's your yes, question? Good morning, everybody. Good morning, my sister. And, and I just. Kim, don't you go nowhere. I was so oh, me, the way I was raised uh -huh. like, from my uh, old parents. Yes. My father before, you know, when he was Yo, we all so be as well as my mother. Yeah. He said, let the, the Holy Spirit lead and guide you. Y'all listen to the sister real quick. She said, let, let the Holy Spirit, Spirit lead and guide, guide you. On your daily activities. Yes. So I didn't understand it when I was younger. Come on. But as I've gotten older, I made plenty of mistakes in my life, and nobody's perfect on this earth. Sorry. And let's put it this way. Oh, I've been letting the Holy Spirit on the inside of me lead and guide me. And that's how I'm going in grace. Because if I did it, I'm going to make a mess. What church you go to? What church? Yeah. In our Baptist church. So they taught you that. But I'm from, no, my What's the Holy father, Spirit? Oh, your father. What's the Holy father, Spirit? The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a quietness inside of you. I'm going to show you what it is. Wait, I got to go on my bus. No, no, you can't go nowhere. Let's go on the bus. Wait, wait, wait. You can't leave all that. Give me Acts 751. I got to show you what the Holy Spirit is. Lessons the Holy to, Spirit. To each Holy and Spirit, every sister. One of my you. sister. My sister. My sister. Holy Spirit is God's law. That's right. Watch this. Right. 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 The book of Acts, chapter 7, verse 51. Right. Right. He's stiff necked and uncircumcised in heart and ear. God said, y'all hard headed people. You do always resist the Holy Ghost. She resisting the Holy Ghost right now, running from him. The Holy Ghost is right here. Read. As your fathers did, so do ye. There were people in the Bible that did the same thing she did. She pulled forth the shoulder. Look, let me go. I got to go. I done dropped my knowledge. Read. Which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted? Read. And they have slain them which showed before of the coming of the just ones. Listen to this next part. Of whom ye have been now the betrayers and murderers who have received the law. Hold on, what's the Holy Spirit? Who have received the law. We in the New Testament talking about the Holy Spirit. We have received what? The law by dispensation of angels. The angels is talking about right there, messengers. Right. That's us. We are those angels. Not, the, right. not the wings, but the messenger. He shook his head no. We're going to deal with that. We're going to see what he means. But we are the angels, the messengers, sending you this message right now. Read. And have not kept it. And ain't kept God's commandments. Right. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth